Hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like it o'clock on Pearl of Wisdom. And you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. My NHL Pearls of Wisdom. Be pal addiction. Addiction? Yeah, you might be addicted. Because we're hitting like crazy. Be pal edition, where I give you my picks for the next day. Today is Friday. I'm just watching a game right now where we're going to hit our under. We did not hit the over in the Calgary Edmonton game, though. That was silly. I cannot believe it. You've got Riddich and Smith in net, and Edmonton and Calgary are playing like they don't want to shoot the puck all game. It's crazy. Crazy. Like, it's no wonder they can't get over the hump. you got Riddich in net if you're, Ed, if you're the Edmonton Oilers and Riddick is in net. You go and try to run and gun with Calgary. Smith is a better goaltender than Riddick has shown. you got to be aggressive in that situation. Anyways, go on and on and on. But anyways, I had Edmonton ML, so covered it a little bit. I have Vancouver ML, and they're down one here. Uh, we had the big money on uh, on Carolina over. We hit that. Uh, we had, uh, but we had Chicago PL for small pearls. So still did well. Uh, the Florida and regulation large pearls on that hit that. So we did really well. I don't. What did we miss? Just that over. I think that was it so far. If I remember correctly. So yeah. Going good, hitting like crazy. And if you'll know that, uh, you might know, actually, the uh, Oilers and Calgary over, if I would have stuck with my video picks last night, I would have actually got it right. But they changed the goaltenders. And when I saw that Riddick was in, I got to go over, you got to. Okay, so I didn't get it right. I'm still going to do it every time. And that's the kind of information you get. If you go over to Patreon there, I, I keep you updated all day on the comings and goings, who's injured, who's not in. Uh, so anyways, I got, I got, I don't usually do these Friday night ones, but I thought I'd come on and do a quick one for you. Uh, I won't be doing any for Sunday. So if you want those, go to, go to the Patreon. It's in the bio. If you comment down there, just comment down there. I would like a free month. I will give you one just like that and it's free and then when it's if you don't like it you just cancel and you never pay a dime so can't lose but I'm so confident you're gonna love it over there that you just go do that and uh, you, you won't want to leave you won't want to leave even a little bit you'll be perlo dancing all the time just like woo, beep how rocks Yay! Also, steelflyers.com. Uh, you want to go there and uh, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from 3 to 5 Eastern, which is 1 to 3 Mountain, which is where I'm from, you will find me doing live talk on the games and uh, goings on, trades, all that kind of stuff like that. I have special guests on and we laugh and there's frolic and you guys comment and we talk to you and it's just a beautiful thing. I'd highly recommend you go do it. Okay, let's take a look at the games for tomorrow. I'm sure you're all on the edge of your seat now. Subscribe, subscribe right now, right, right, right now, right, right now, now, hello now. Subscribe to the channel. You don't want to miss all this stuff. And it's fun. It's fun to hit that subscribe button. There you go. Send you a my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Hernandez or Melissa will pearlicopter it to you. And there will be frolic in the land. Okay, Buffalo, New Jersey. How in the world do you take anything other than Buff New Jersey here? Is Buffalo ever going to win a game? I'm trying to find a spot for Buffalo. But I can't against New Jersey, who just beat the Boston Bruins, who is just beating the world all day long here. Uh, what are they paying? Um, are they seriously getting 180 and 183? Yeah, you're taking that all day. I'd almost go in reg. This is a huge play right here. Uh, I, I just can't see Buffalo being able to do anything. Now, 
Allmark apparently is going to be in, so that helps out a little bit. As far as the over is concerned, is it five and a half? Uh, I should have it here. Yeah, I got the over down. It's five and a half. Yeah, I lean towards the over. Um, the problem is, is Buffalo going to score enough against Blackwood? That's that's the issue. I could see this being a 4-1 game or something like that. I'm not huge on the total. Not huge. But if Buffalo can get two past, then you could see a 4-2, something like that. I'm going to have to really think about this. I may change my mind by morning. You never know. But as of right now, I'll go over. Uh, Rangers versus the Capitals. Uh, let's see. Let's refresh here and see if they have any... This is left wing lock. It's the best there. I said it. Uh, it's where I get my goalie confirmations from. Day. Where's the Washington game? Did I pass it? Washington, where are you? Huh? How come they don't have Washington, the Washington game here? Oh, yeah. No, that's not it. Weird. Am I looking at the wrong thing? Rangers in Washington. Oh, I thought I could have swore I saw Sasha Sturkin was in already. Uh, yeah, somewhere. And uh, Washington, it's going to be Vanacek. Um, I just, the Rangers just barely got by a Philadelphia team that had seven people missing from their lineup. Before that, they lost to the aforementioned New Jersey team who hadn't played for 15 games. Neither had Philadelphia. Washington looks like they're turning their stuff around. I'm going for Washington ML here. Uh, and for some reason, I want to say under. ML. Yeah, I could even see in reg there if you want to add the extra juice. Why do I want to go under? I want to go under for some reason. Uh, I, I just don't think the Rangers are going to be able to score enough against that Washington team. It, sh it makes sense to go over, but I'm leaning the under here at six. I don't know why. Vegas versus Colorado. I'm going to first of all tell you right now I'm going the over here, and it's paying lots. Uh, that's because Flurry is in net. Uh, and I believe the last two games they were under for this. But I think Colorado has their legs now. Um, you know what? Before I do that, we should look at uh, injuries. Let's look at injuries real quick. NHL. And injuries today. Where's the one that I like? Right here. No, that's not it. Roto World. Okay, I'll just go here. Oh, okay, that's right. They do it like that now. Okay, Colorado. Uh, my car is still out. Blue liner, uh, uh, Bender described the young blue liner as an option for Saturday's outdoor match at Lake Tahoe. Oh, this is an outdoor match. Right. Okay, under. Under, under, under. Sorry, it's not over, it's under. Uh, McCarr is an option, meaning he may not play too. Um, they got a lot of, yeah, let's go under here. Because it's an outdoor game. Outdoor games are usually always under. Remember that, boys and girls. So under and Colorado, I'm telling you, they're just going to be beastly for the rest of the year. It doesn't even matter who's in the lineup. And if McCars in the lineup, then for sure I'm going 
money line at 187 all over that my friend all over that Vegas doesn't have enough uh, and uh, I believe they have their own in injuries it could be a problem injuries Vegas laner no shit no, not too bad but I'm still going Colorado all day Okay, uh, next game, Detroit versus Florida. Florida just shellacked Detroit. Um, with Grice in net, Bernier is supposed to be in net here. They may go back to Grice because Grice didn't play much. Florida is just humming, though. We're doing Florida in regulation for sure. Um, they should be tired. I said under last game. I'm going back to the under this game. Um, it should be rare that there is an over in a Detroit game this year. It will happen. I lost out on the last one, so I'm going it again on this one. Nashville versus Columbus. I am not taking Nashville all year, probably. I might find a spot for them, but they are looking terrible. And especially against a Columbus team that seems to be finding their way. I'm taking Columbus ML. You may want to go in reg. Uh, yeah, let's go in reg. That'll pay about almost two. So we'll go Columbus and reg um, versus Nashville. The question over under, I'm just going to keep on sticking to the under with Columbus. Uh, they get up ahead like the New York Islanders do and they shut her down. Now, this is going to depend on if Merz Lickens is playing. If Corpus Salo is playing, I'm going the over. I just have no faith in that guy. I'm pretty sure Tortorella always waits the last second with his goaltenders. Merzlikens is supposed to be in. Saros has just not looked good. Look at this, 3.47882. I have a feeling it's going to be Rene. They're just going to keep on going back and forth until they can find a goaltender that might be able to stop pucks. It's really the biggest problem for Nashville right now. New York Islanders versus Pittsburgh. I didn't even put anything down for this game. Uh, I really don't know. I take, I, last time I took the Islanders PL and they didn't PL. Pittsburgh just seems to be getting things done, even though it doesn't make sense. So I'm probably going to give you Pittsburgh ML here. And I don't even like, the, I don't like anything about this game. I'm fading and I'm not putting it in. I'm not doing a write up on it. If you remember, I do write-ups for every single game for Patreon. I tell people what to pick. If I'm totally fading it, I won't do a write-up, and I'm probably not going to do a write-up on this. But I'll give you the ML. As far as the total, uh, the unders pay in really good juice, and the Islanders normally play under, but this year, not so much. So I'm going to go under just for the juice. Los Angeles versus Arizona, another tough one. Los Angeles just got a defenseman back, Walker, I believe. Um, again, I'm going to go back to what I did before. Los Angeles PL, you're getting such good juice on, la on the spread here for... Oh, it's not as good as it was last time. 160. But taking the money line with Arizona is that same thing. And I wouldn't go in reg against either. I Last time I went under on this, and um, I don't know what goaltender, I'm probably going to keep on sticking to the under. You're getting good juice on the under because Los Angeles has the best power play in the league. Um, Arizona really wants to play under most of the time. Los Angeles is playing a really strong attacking system right now. I probably would put small pearls on the under. I wouldn't put much more, too much on it. But I do like Los Angeles PL if you're going to play this. Probably with medium pearls. I really like that play. Arizona is almost always going to play a one-goal game if they win. And, you know, it's it's so it, like 75% of the time that PL is going to come through. So San Jose versus St. Louis. Uh Two teams that are underperforming. 
Um, I think I had the I, I think I had the over in the last game and it didn't come through. What's the line? What's the over here? I gotta go back to the over again. I'll keep on going back to the over. You might even see St. Louis's backup here. Yeah, Ville Husso. And if that's the case, it's certainly over. Uh, go 180 and take the Blues on the ML. Simply because San Jose, I just Carlson's not in. They sh St. Louis should be winning these easy, 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 easy. But you're only going ML. And I don't like the PL with San Jose because their defense is too bad to keep it close. When they lose, they generally really lose. So, St. Louis ML if you want to play it. We don't have anything for Carolina Tampa Bay here, but I'll tell you right now, I don't. I think Carolina is going to get, let me refresh it and see if maybe something's come up here. Sometimes when you refresh it, they, I, I don't know why it's because of goaltending, I suppose. Now, Carolina's playing a back-to-back -back here against Tampa Bay, who I don't believe is playing a back-to-back. -back. That's the tough one. I got to lean Tampa Bay. Because Carolina's on a back-to-back, -back, but they're such a tough team. Uh, for, yeah, I'll lean Tampa Bay. That's all I can say about that game right now. There's no real line out. Anaheim, Minnesota. Now, Anaheim, Lindholm and Manson are out for the, on the defense here for Anaheim. I'm taking Minnesota and a very rare time. I may just go the over on Anaheim here because they're short defensemen. This could be a blowout. Minnesota should have their legs right now. Look at the juice you're getting on the over. It's tough. It's on the line. Normally, I would under, 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 under Anaheim. Uh, Gibson, because of Gibson, really. Um, I just think Minnesota is going to knock it out of the park in this game. Screw it. I'm going the over. I like the juice. Without uh, those two guys in there. Now, they still don't have odds for the Edmonton-Calgary game. Uh, it should be Markstrom against uh, Koskinen. Uh, Edmonton won tonight. Who Monaghan is out for Calgary. For that reason, I'm going to lean Edmonton ML. Uh, and the under. I'm not going to make that mistake. Especially if it's six and a half. We're going under, and that'll probably be a big play on Patreon. Okay, that's my full 42, boys and girls. I'm going to get out of here and have myself a weekend. How about you? Tell me what you're doing on your weekend down there. Give me your parlays so you can win the free the free month for BPAL. Right now, nobody's hit a parlay, I don't think. Anybody. So... Uh, one person did, but they didn't put the odds down. I can't do much if you don't put the odds. Tell me what your odds are on the parlay. If you hit it and you beat everybody with whatever the odds are, like if it's 6.5, that's 6.5 points. You'll be ahead. If it's three, you get three points and you're ahead of anybody right now. So, and then you get a free month, $25, free month for BPAL picks. So might as well do it. Uh, just comment anyways. Just talk. Let's connect. I love the connection. Talk and kibitz. Kibitz is a good word too. Go down that comment section. Talk. Tell me all about your life and all that stuff. Tell me your pics and all of that kind of stuff. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay. Bye.